my name's Rahim Karim. And I'm going to tell you a story. And the name of the story is The Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. And they lived in a small house. They'd run around the house, playing, and mum would look at the three little pigs thinking, oh, I love them so much. And they'd be playing. And over the years, the pigs grew taller and taller. And the house felt smaller and smaller until it felt like a right old squash. And the mum said, I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave the house. And the three little pigs thought, that's fine, that's fine, we'll go and find our own house. And the mum said, bye-bye. <gasps> but remember, watch out for the big bad wolf. Be careful. Okay, we will. We'll look out for the big bad wolf. Bye-bye now. Bye. And the three little pigs went off. The first little pig saw a man selling straw. He had straw on his back and a sign saying, straw for sale. And the first little pig, he said, excuse me, can I buy some straw, please? And the man who was selling the straw said, of course. Meanwhile, the big bad wolf was watching in the distance and thinking, whoa, I'd love to eat those little pigs. The straw seller put down his sign into the ground and the wolf ran, ran to the first little pig until he ended up smashing into the sign. The little pig picked up his straw and went off to start building his house made of straw. He made straw walls and he made a straw wolf, uh, roof, floor. And he designed his straw roof. And it looked magnificent. And the first little pig was very proud. Look what I've built. You haven't got anything. I've built my house. And the other two little pigs were like, mm, we're not sure about your house. It's fantastic, my house. The two little pigs walked off. And the second little pig saw a man. He had a tree house and he was standing in his tree house with loads of sticks. And he'd made his own tree house made of the sticks. And the little pig stood on the ground. The big wad wolf stood watching the little pigs, thinking, hmm, how delicious. The second little pig asked, excuse me, can I have some of your sticks? I want to build myself a house. No problem. And he dropped some of the sticks down to the ground for the little pig. Right on top of the big bad wolf. Oh, oh, oh. he had what such bruises on his head. The second little pig picked up his sticks and he started to make his house. And he built some walls. And he made a roof. And when he'd finished, he stood back and felt very proud of himself. I finished my house, mm. and the third little pig watched and said, well, I'm not so sure about your house. I'm going to build my house, my house. The second little pig said, okay then, bye-bye. The third little pig went off, and he saw a pile of bricks. And the little pig was looking at the bricks. Meanwhile, in the distance, the big bad wolf was watching. And he ran, he was going to try and eat the pig. And as the pig bent over, the wolf tripped and went flying over the little pig and landed in a ditch face down. Oh, and he hurt himself again. He broke his arm this time. And the Little, the wolf was getting very frustrated. I want to eat the pigs. And he thought, I remember that straw house. He got a broken arm and his foot in a pot and he limped up to the straw house. And he knocked at the door. Let me in, little pig. And the little pig looked through the window and saw the big bad wolf. No, no, I won't. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. No. And the wolf huff and I'll blow your house down. Ready? Ready? 
So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. And the little pig realized he had no house around him anymore and he had to run as fast as he could to the second little pig's house. Oh, 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 the wolf's coming, the wolf's coming. And the wolf limped along to the second pig's house made of sticks. And he knocked on the door. Let me in, little pigs. And the second little pig said, no, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, no. And the wolf was getting a bit cross now. He said, I will, he huff, I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Are you ready? So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. And the second little pig had to run as fast as he could to the third little pig's house made of bricks. And the wolf said, right, right now. And he limped with his broken arm and his foot in a pot. And he went to the brick house. And the third little pig was there. Let me in, little pig. No, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, no. And the wolf said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Are you ready? So he huffed. And the house was still there. And he puffed, and the house was still there. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed. And still the house stood there, until the house was completely out of breath. Your house made of bricks is too strong. <sighs> ah, then he saw the chimney. Hmm, I know. I can climb the house and get in through the chimney and then eat all the little pigs. Mm. So he climbed up the walls, up the roof, got to the chimney. Oh, I'm so ready for these pigs. Shot down the chimney. But he didn't realise there's a great big cooking pot with hot water there in the fireplace. And the wolf plopped straight into it. And the pigs were ready with the lid and they clanged it on top to stop the wolf getting out. And the three little pigs stood round and said, ha ha, not by that hair on our chinny chin chin.